Hey, it's Bryson here with Digital Tech Thoughts, where we share our thoughts on tech. And it's July 14th, 2014, and this is Today in the World of Tech. Let's get started. Let's get started with some mobile news. Yesterday, Google has announced that they are bringing Ingress, a popular augmented reality game on Google Play, to iOS. Now, Ingress is hacking portals, challenging the green or blue team, and it's a really cool game. So if you want to go check it out, and if hacking portals is your thing, check in the description below to get that application. As, as of now, it is available on iOS and on Android. Now, this game requires you to use your data and walking, so just be aware of that. If you have an Android Wear watch like me, then go download Wear Mini Launcher. It's a great application and it gets it helps you actually get to your apps faster. Now instead of going to Google and then scrolling down, then go to start, you can just slide from the right corner and you can get to your apps instantly. And an update happened yesterday where it allows you to control the brightness straight from the launcher. Now this makes it easier because again you have to go into your settings and adjust the brightness accordingly. So download this app, it makes it really fast, makes it really easy and it has support for both the LG G Watch and the Gear Live. So go check in the description below to go download it. A popular legal movie and TV streaming service called Popcorn Time has now have Chromecast support. Now if you're wondering, Popcorn Time is like the illegal version of Netflix and it's free. So Popcorn Time is available on web and Android and now has Chromecast support. Now Popcorn Time is illegal and you could face a $250,000 fine for just watching it and a felony charge. So come on guys, support your artists, support the people who make the movies, don't illegally stream, don't torrent, and be a good person. But if you want to download it, you can find that in the description below. Acer has released another Chromebook. Now, it's called the Acer C720 because it supports the same body, just with a different processor. Now, you'll get the same specifications like the 11.6 inch screen, but it'll cost you $350 for 2 gigs of RAM and $380 for 4 gigs of RAM. Now, again, this is running the latest Intel iCore i3 Haswell processor, meaning that this computer will run faster and better multitasking. If you want to go buy these computers, check in the description below for Amazon just so where you can get it. Let's talk gaming news. Now, if you did pre-order the Destiny, that you know that the beta will open on July 17th or July 20th, depending on if you have a PS4 or Xbox One. Now, with the beta, you will be able to access four story chapters and a competitive multiplayer mode. For more information on this, check out digitaltechdots.com or you can check out the description below. Now for some rumor news. It is rumored that Samsung is going to bring the Samsung Galaxy Alpha this August. Now, we don't know anything else about it, but it's said to be a premium Samsung smartphone. In other Samsung news, Samsung is also rumored to bring a retinal scanner to the next Samsung device. Now, we don't know if this is going to be the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 or the Samsung Galaxy Alpha. Exami, a Chinese-based phone manufacturer, is rumored to bring a full metal body smartphone on July 22nd. Now, we don't know anything else about it, but Xomni is known for making some premium smartphones. So check on on July 22nd to get more of the Xomni full metal body phone. Apple? Apple is reportedly bringing the iPhone 6 this August, but we're only going to see the smaller model. Now, if you're wondering what happened to the 5.5 inch model, we are hearing rumors that, the ma that manufacturers are having manufacturing problems building the larger model. So we might need to wait till 2015. For our last story of the day, we are seeing leaks of a new Google Play Store with redesign with material design. Now as you can see, they are redesigning everything from the application store to TVs and movies. So go check in soon. Material design is great. And thanks, that's all the news. Thanks again for watching. My name is Bryson with Digital Tech Thoughts, where we share our thoughts on tech. And if you want to get your daily dose of tech news reviews or how-tos, check out digitaltechthoughts.com. If you want to follow us on social media like Google+, Twitter, or Facebook, you can find those links in the description below. Once again, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Hey guys, if you like that video, don't forget us to give us a thumbs up down below and share it with your friends if you want to. And also, if you haven't already, subscribe!